watching First News at 4 on KBTX. The 51st season of Opus continues later this month with a new twist on a classic story as the audience will be taken inside the courthouse of Aaron Sorkin's adaptation of Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird. Here to tell us all about the upcoming performances, we've got Ann Black. She's the executive director of Opus. Ann, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. Okay, so uh, let's talk about this production. It <laughs> is a literary classic, it right? is. To Kill a Mockingbird. It is. Uh, but it's been given the Sorkin treatment. Yes. And I, you know, I'm probably the perfect target audience because I was born in the To Kill a Mockingbird kind of time, and I'm a great fan of the book, but I'm also a great fan of Aaron Sorkin. And I think what he's done here, it, I mean, nothing happens in the play that didn't happen in the book. It's, sure. it's very true to the story. But he really has uh, taken Atticus and humanized him. Mm. And, you know, the, the other thing that's going on besides the trial uh, at hand is his own struggles with his nobility versus that not really squaring with things. They're not always good people on both sides. Right, right. And it's, it's interesting to see him struggle with that and that the kids, Scout and Dill and Jim, are also questioning. The very first line of the play, in, if I remember correctly, Scout, who is the narrator, says something didn't seem right. Hmm. <laughs> so, so they're questioning, you know, why is what I've been brought up to believe right. that I've got to see some good in yeah. these awful people. Well, you, you have seen this show already in yes. New York, correct? Yes. Uh, and it has been touring now for about a year. So we're very fortunate uh, that, that to get this, sh this production to come here to yes, Aggieland. We are. And very fortunate to get Richard Thomas. Yes, who's been featured in several yes. shows, right? He was in The Waltons, yes. correct, if yes. I remember? Okay. Yes. Um, so how do we get tickets? Uh, and uh, they, they are moving quickly, correct? They are. They are. Get them fast because we're expecting both nights to sell out, and they are, they are really moving quickly. So you can go online at opustickets.org, or you can call the box office at 845-1234 and get them that way. Perfect. Don't this wait is, and buy yeah. them at the door. <laughs> yeah, January 16th <laughs> and 17th, That's right. 7.30 each night at the Rudder Auditorium, so it's That's a right. very limited run. Uh, on top of uh, To Kill a Mockingbird, there's still several performances coming up in this season. Yes. Uh, there's going to be Little Women Little in February. Little Women coming up Valentine's Day, yes. Uh, perfect. Uh, and Bluey's Big Play, which I think a lot of kids <laughs> around here are very excited about. We're yes. going to have three performances of yes. that in uh, four. In, Four, excuse yes. me, in, in March? The first weekend in March. Yes. We had three on Saturday and one on Sunday. Wow, uh, that is going to be a big time. And right. then, of course, the evening with Yo-Yo Ma. I think a lot yes. of people are looking forward yes. to that one. That, too, is pretty much gone. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I can't imagine. That would yes. be a very, very fun and one. And then don't forget, we've moved Come From Away. is not happening until June. Oh. And that's another real big one that we were lucky to get. And then and then the tour moved to June, but we're... We're going to do it in June. <laughs> All right. Now you can get more information uh, at opustickets.org. And thank you so much for being here Thanks with us today. Thanks for having me.